Good morning, YouTube. How's everyone doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. We are in Himalato. It is 5 a.m. Tuesday, uh, March 1st, 2022. We're going to do a cost of, uh, cost of living here in the Himalato area. Now, you know, I've, my past cost of living hasn't really changed much. Now, what I want to talk about today is uh, rising inflation inflation here in the Himalato area or, or basically all over the Philippines. Um, I just heard gasoline is going to go up to 75 to set, maybe to 77 uh, pesos per liter. Um, that's going to be tremendous. That's going to be like six dollars plus a gallon uh, here in the Philippines. That's going to be very, very expensive. That's going to cut down a lot of people. So that means food prices are going to go up, building supplies are going to go up. Basically, everything will be going up here in the Philippines if that is the case. Right now, gasoline prices are 65 to 68 pesos per liter. Uh, I paid 68 pesos a liter yesterday. Um, I expect it to go much higher, much higher. The peso right now is 51.31 is what it was last night. I hadn't looked to see what it what, what it is today. I'm sure it's pretty close about the same right now. Uh, it's, it's like I said, it's like 5:04 a.m. So it is early and. Uh, Okay, let's get into it. Uh, my rent is still uh, 15,000 pesos uh, uh, a month uh, is what I pay for my lot payment. This month, we told the landowner or the, the owner of the property, we're going to have to get our property surveyed. So we're going to hold out 5,000 pesos out of the, the payment this month. Uh, to survey the lot because we haven't got it surveyed as of yet. Uh, this week is going to be the week. Uh, we'll be in Dumaguete uh, Thursday morning to take care of some banking needs and whatnot. Uh, then what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and uh, call in the surveyor. Uh, I think it's Friday or Saturday. I'm not sure which, which day. Probably uh, Friday afternoon. Uh, we'll get the surveyor here, and uh, we'll get the property surveyed. But anyway, yeah, we pay 15000 a month for a lot right now. We come down considerably what we was paying, but we're still taking it just about everything we have just to survive. Uh, the electric, we, found, we connect it next door. Uh, the bill we have right now, I mean, we only got a half a month, uh, 500 pesos for... Uh, this this month is what our uh, electric's going to be. Uh, well, actually, I don't even know if we're going to pay that because we we give them a uh, a uh, breaker. They didn't have a breaker to handle everybody, so we went ahead and give them a breaker. The breaker is like 500 pesos, so we'll probably just take that off our uh, electric because their breaker burned up because they were trying to help too many people. And it wound up melting their wire and melting their breaker. <coughs> <coughs> they had like a 15-amp <coughs> breaker and uh, had like five wires come, going into it. And it completely had it short out. So I told them, yeah, I'll, I'll we'll let them use our 30-amp. And um, we had a brand new one laying around anyway. We tell them we we'll let them use it, and uh, we get to plug into it as well. So they let us plug into it, and we let them use our breaker. But they said they want to buy the breaker, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, now, uh, cooking gas. Oh, God, I don't even know what cooking gas is right now. Cooking gas will be going up as well. Last time I looked, it was 1015 uh, 15 pesos uh, a month is basically what we spend um, and uh, it's, it's, I don't even know what it's going to be now I hadn't, I hadn't got that far yet 
Now, uh, we still don't have internet here. Uh, our, inter our internet capability on our property is zero. We have absolutely zero on our property uh, due to the typhoon. Uh, the tower we used before has been destroyed. Um, we have internet that comes and goes. I have no idea where it's coming from. I think it's coming from across the water from Wall Wall area. So we don't have any internet. We gotta, I gotta buy a load for my phone. I gotta travel uh, to Taliesin to upload videos and uh, use the internet over there. It's very, very, I, I don't like doing it, but it is what it is right now. Till, till we get a better antenna, I'm gonna have to buy an antenna. I'm gonna have to buy another different receiver because of the stuff we have doesn't work now. Our 360 degree antenna took a nasty fall from the typhoon. It was up on a 35 foot pole. It slammed into the ground. Uh, there's parts loose inside. <laughs> it's perfectly understandable. It took a nasty, nasty fall. Fell about 35 foot and landed right on the side of that thing. I mean, it, it didn't break the unit, but I got uh, spare parts inside that's shaking around. <laughs> uh, you know, that's, that's a very unfortunate. I paid what I paid for that thing, about 2500 about 45 bucks for that thing. And it's destroyed. Okay, now water, we still don't have running water as of yet here on our property. Uh, and I don't expect to have it anytime soon. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the water plant here in Himalato. You know, before this thing even happened, our water was next to nothing. The, the water in Himalato is horrible. Uh, the water service, absolutely horrible service. Um, if anybody comes here and wants to buy property, I recommend don't even go to them. Just go ahead and dig you a well. Find you a good place, dig a water well, and uh, start using that well water. That is the best way to do it. Uh, that's what we do, and we get unlimited water for free. Uh, well, actually, it's not free. I, I mean, I paid a fortune to have our Boomba area, and I'm still not done with it. We're gonna put electric out there. I'm gonna put an electric pump out there where I can pump water into a big water storage tank where we'll have unlimited water anytime, day or night, uh, regardless of the city water. We'll still be connected, but uh, water service is horrible here in Himalato. <laughs> but yeah, uh, our food consumption uh, has been, it's been pretty expensive here. I mean, over the past um, month, prices have gone up. Um, cleaning products have gone up. Uh, cooking oil, oh my goodness, it has gone up. Um, everything's going up, guys. Everything's going up. I have paid close to 18,000 pesos this month, over 300 and what 360 bucks this month alone in food uh for two people just two people well i'll take that back we have we've had several people over and uh mm, excuse me i got allergic um we had several people come over we fed them i mean close friends uh agnes's family and uh, we have taken care of them. We have helped feed them several nights. Um, you know, they don't have any food or whatnot. Uh, we're more than happy to help. But anyway, um, yeah. Uh, oh my God, 18,000, 18,000 and 60 pesos. Or, yeah, it, it's, been, it's been very expensive this month for food. and. I expect it's gonna go much higher because the way the gasoline prices are, six do, over six dollars a gallon here, uh, U.S. Uh, seventy-five to seventy-seven pesos a gallon is what it's supposed to start start today, I believe. 
uh, it's going to go all the way up. Um, Inflation is hitting, hitting the Philippines hard right now. Uh, I know it's, it's all over the world, but it's really hitting the uh, Philippines. Uh, now, what else? Um, oh, we have odds and ends. Basically, everything we pay for uh, is over what I made this month. Uh, we had a lot of different expenses. Uh, we have wood that we uh, got on loan. Uh, we pay three thousand a month on that, which is sixty bucks. Uh, we have building materials uh, we bought on loan that we pay. Uh, well, I think we got two thousand more paint, uh, two thousand more pesos to pay this month, and we we got all that paid for. The wood we have two more payments on it, three thousand pesos each. Other than that, I mean, we're just about free and clear. We almost got the property paid for. We have five more payments on the property, and the property is paid for. Uh, we don't have any more, anything else to pay. Other than that, uh, we need new Wi-Fi. We need. Uh, we still have. We just still don't have our electric pole replaced yet. Right there in our area, our pole still leaning about a 30 degree angle. I don't know when they're going to come over there and replace that pole. That thing needs to be replaced ASAP where we'll have an electric where we don't have to worry about going through this, somebody else. Um, I don't like doing this, but it is what it is, guys. The motorcycle payments. Uh, I have two motorcycle payments uh, at Rushi dealership in Dumaguete City. Oh, we're going to be doing a video down in Dumaguete this, this month. I'm going to figure out I'll do one. Uh, when, when we go down, I'm not sure what day we're going to go down there, Thursday, Friday. Uh, we will definitely do a video at uh, Rushi Dimagetti. But, yeah, we got two payments, 6,030 pesos for two motorcycles. Uh, Agnes' scooter and my uh, 250 Sigma. And uh, what else we got? That's just about it, guys. Um, we cooking oil. Uh, Cooking gas and uh, the gasoline. Oh my God, gasoline's gonna be very expensive. Food is is just gonna go continuing to go up. Uh, everybody's gotta travel with all these vegetables from Canla on. It's basically where we get all of our vegetables. All the vegetables are all transported from Canla on. Um, everything's gonna be going up. Um, so. I don't know what to expect this year. It, everything's going up in big, big way. Thank goodness we get the property paid for in June. Our property is done. We don't have any more payments on that uh, property. And we are free and clear of that. So we're, we're gonna start, um, well, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get the motorcycle paid up in advance. Then we're gonna go ahead and start building what we got started. I mean, we got a lot of stuff that we need to get built. ASAP. Uh, I told you guys yesterday when I was at uh, Bay City. I don't. I don't know if you guys heard me or not, but I tried to talk to a uh, travel uh, visa place, uh, Rapid Visa in America. They told me yesterday I don't make enough to get my wife to America, even as a tourist. And I said that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. I make good money, and you're telling me I can't even get my wife there as a tourist. Of course, she, she can't even get a passport right now. We tried to get a passport. Everything's in slots right now. And there is no slot open till, looks like, till next year. I mean, there's nothing available. We checked all the way into August, September. There's nothing, absolutely nothing. People are selling their slots on Facebook, but they want oh, a fortune for those things. I mean, I'm not gonna get robbed by someone wanting a lot of pesos just for their slot. I'm not going to do that. We're not going to do that at all. But anyway, guys, I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. We will keep you guys updated on a lot of this fuel cost and everything else here in the Philippines. Um, like I said, inflation's hitting the Philippines hard now. Uh, I expect uh, the American dollar to be worth considerably more than what the peso is. I'm, I'm expecting 
probably 54, 55 within the next few months or a couple months, it's going to be, it's going to go up is what I'm thinking. Uh, the, the peso is going to take a nose dive and the uh, dollar is going to go up. So I think we're going to be pretty good. But anyway, guys, I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing and we will definitely catch you guys on the very next video. Peace out.